Hi, I'm Kelly Saracino at Longwood Gardens, one of the great gardens of the world, and I'm joined today by Cress Mozzi, internationally acclaimed floral designer. And Cress is going to share with us some ideas how to arrange with beautiful orchids. Hi, Cress. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Fine, thank you. So what do you have to share with us? Um, I brought a lot of orchids today, so we're in the orchid house. And so this is uh, Mokara. And I like to show ways that you can arrange mokaras and other orchids very easily. And materials are uh, easily available. So we have uh, oasis uh, inside that is soaked. Mm -hmm. And mokaras are just placed in there vertically. And I just like to add a little collar of cornice, which is um, can be grown uh, in your house, in your garden, um, or you can purchase it very easily. So this is what it looks like before it's cut. Aww. All right. Long. Very easy to find at home. Yes. And then they are just cut into lengths and they're just placed in there and it okay. forms a really fun collar. And if you have children at home, this is a great project for them as well. That is a great idea. And it's just enough to hide the oasis yes. and in so, the arrangement. Yeah. So it's an easy and effective mechanic and also um, decorative. Very beautiful. So. And another treatment that is easy, this is tea leaf. Um, this is uh, grown as a house plant, and you can also purchase it uh, from your florist or any other um, garden centers. So another treatment that's quite easy. So it's both functional and decorative. So you can just tuck it in and just wrap it around. And you can fold it just a little. And if you need, you can always make a little pin and just tuck it in here and you'll hold it. Or if you like, you can also use the end of your other leaf and tuck it in. And so that is... Oh, holding it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this one, you can just bend it and then just tuck it in like this. Mm -hmm. I like the color combination. Yeah. So the orange with the burgundy and the hot pink. Very beautiful. So, how easy is that? Very so, easy. Two minutes? That was it, maybe. Beautiful. Okay. So I would like to have my cymbidiums. Yes. And my hydrangeas. So this is another easy one to do. And may I have my uh, hydrangeas, please? So I'm going to do a collar of hydrangea. I love hydrangea. And these can be grown in your garden, or you can purchase it easily. So it just forms a collar. Just enough to hide the mechanic. Uh-huh. And it also, too, when you have something hanging over the vase, it kind of marries your uh, container with the plant material so that you don't have, oh, here's the vase and here's the plant material. Right. So it just makes it nicer. Mm -hmm. So we want it to be full. We, w we don't want to skimpy. It's beautiful as it is. Yes. And so, what is not to like when you have orchids? Yes. Now, Cymbidium, where are these easily uh, available for the general homeowner? Yes. Um, any flowers that I have here, they are easily purchased either from your grocery store or from garden centers or, or from box stores. Great to know. Yeah. And if you have a greenhouse, <laughs> which some Even of us easier. may, yes. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. And so look at the color. It's even picking up that green inside the hydrangea. Yes. That is gorgeous. And so you can do this. And as they say, less is more, but more is better. I like that. <laughs> that is beautiful. Like you said, too, you're marrying the shape of yeah. the vase, and you have the height here. It's beautiful. So I'm doing this one-sided for the camera, so I can hide behind it, I guess. <laughs> okay, so Absolutely that's gorgeous. it. And if you like to have a fun element, this is also fun, but this is only for the moment. Orchids out of water uh, with cymbidium because they are fleshy, they can last a little while, but it's not uh, meant to be long lasting. Okay. So if you like, you can also add fun touches like this. Just Ooh. wrap a wire onto your orchid. Wire with those pretty little pearls on them. Yeah. And then 
one. But I can do this one. Easy enough to find in a craft store? Yes. Okay. If not, you can just buy um, jewelry wire and get some um, beads. Wonderful idea. And if you have kids at home, you probably yeah. already have it. So if you need a little bling, oh, you, can, beautiful. you can do that. And so for those who don't arrange flowers and prefer to do potted plants, this is a potted arrangement. And it's quite easy to do. And actually they are not taken out of their pots. I purchased plants and because they have different cultural re uh, requirements, um, it's easy if they're left in their pots so that you can water as they need. Individually. Yeah, mm -hmm. individually. Mm -hmm. Because this uh, ripsalis, it doesn't really need so much water. Okay. And your Mullenbachia, the wire uh, vine, will need a little bit more water. Mm -hmm. And so uh, by keeping them in their pods, mm -hmm. um, then it's easier to take care of. Absolutely. And so they are just popped in. So the, with this container being so deep, mm -hmm. uh, you can put a layer of drainage material in here, anything like gravel or pebbles or whatever mm -hmm. you like. Mm -hmm. And the spaces is actually just filled with bubble wrap. Ah, uh, very clever to yeah, hold so, them all yes, in place. So to hold them all in place. And then I have this um, moss as a decorative covering. And so these are all potted, but I think it would add to it if we add um, another spray of orchid. Oh, very beautiful. Yeah. So instead of a potted arrangement, now we have made it into a pot de fleur. Oh, So very pots nice. and flowers. Yes. And to add any flowers into your potted arrangement, uh, get one of these water tubes mm -hmm. that have a spike right. and fill it with water. And then you can just either tuck it in here or you can tuck it into the soil. That really sets off the right side of yeah. the arrangement. Yeah. Very beautiful. So I have this vase at home and I love the texture. Mm -hmm. And so I thought I would um, continue the theme of the, the lines and the wrapping around. So this is actually Oasis wrapped in saran wrap first and then wrap with wired wool. Wired and, wool. Yes, okay. wired wool is available from craft store. It's mm -hmm. slightly different from mine. Mm -hmm. um, I wrap the Oasis in uh, saran wrap first so that it doesn't get wet. That makes sense. Yeah. It would get a little stinky. Uh, yes, it would. And it might wick water and we don't want our tables to be ruined right. either. And so um, to do a very simple um, arrangement mm -hmm. with this, because um, since the vase and the treatment is so unique, um, you want to show it off. Yes. And so we do have a very beautiful oh. Pephiopetalum rosettii. And so we... Um, this was uh, one of Longwood's orchids, so oh. it's very special that we get to use yes. it. Very beautiful. Yes. Okay. May I have the Senecio? Thank you. This is gorgeous. Yes. And because the vase is so tall, um, it's nice to have a draping element so that it kind of married, uh, again, the flowers with the vase. And I actually had in mind to use uh, hanging amaranthus, but that was not available. And so we always have plan B in mm -hmm. place when we are doing something. And so. You do make it look so simple. But it is simple. How easy is to just cut a stem of potted plants and then just put it in. It already looks beautiful. And when I decide to, to choose uh, the different types of house plants for my arrangement, I usually look for ones that um, either will last a long time, like a, a, a succulent, yes. or I look for house plants that would root easily. So if they root easily in water or in any medium, then it would tell me that they would hold up in an arrangement. And so that would be a good way to look for materials when you're looking for to do something for yourself. That's good to know. And because I, I don't want to add a lot, 
um, to upstage my beautiful orchid, yes, I'm just going to add some texture. So this is a Dianthus green trick. Um, it's been on the market for several years and it's great color and great texture. Mm -hmm. That really is going to set off the orchid. Yeah. The star of the show. Yes, because this is a program about orchids, so we, we don't want anything to upstage. That did a lot to fill that space. It does. To fill the oasis. Yes. And so it kind of looks cool. It does, and it does look fabulous all on its own. Yeah, and so I am going to turn it around. And oh, what a wonderful backdrop. Wait till you see this. Get ready for the grand unveiling. Oh, those are beautiful. Yes, symphoric carpus, beautiful white berries. It just add a touch of white to bring up the color and of the vase to work with it together. And so I'm going to and it's like jewelry for the orchid. Yes. That's a great description for it. <laughs> and I'm going to tuck it in here. Turn oh, it. Beautiful. Turn the Chris, this is very beautiful, very elegant, but I will admit it's just a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, where would I learn more about these types of design concepts? Longwood offers a wide range of floral design classes from basic to advanced, so that would be a great place to start. I agree. Thank you. Thank you, Cress, for sharing your knowledge with us today. We have made some incredible arrangements today using these gorgeous orchids, quite an array of arrangements. So thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. And thank you for broadening your world by learning in ours.